Beyond.fm, I am DJ Zwayne, and this is The Hijack. Holy crap, man. This has been, like I said before, like I said in the last segment, a hell of a week. Uh, last segment, we talked about the network, uh, the the band that is rumored to be uh, the guys from Green Day. I, <clears throat> I mean... Look, I just started looking uh, looking them up. I vaguely heard about them uh, before, um, but this this track Ivanka is a Nazi with three Ks is pretty hilarious. So, uh, like I said before in the last segment, we we very music centric, very music centric actually. Uh, this hijack, obviously, on Mondays we throw down the uh, the Monday music mix to kind of give us a break from all the news and BS going on in the world. And uh, the, uh, Fridays is our regular hijack talk show that you can download, you can stream, you can subscribe on iTunes, Google, Spotify, iHeartRadio, all of that. Uh, you can follow me at DJ Zou A I N at DJ Zwayne on all social media. And another DJ that you can that you could follow is Adam Ohm. He is uh, he's a homie that has been in Thailand for a couple of years. Um, he 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 has a, an interesting story, but also uh, before we do that, let me let me take a look here. Let's take a look at what the numbers are. Deaths in Florida. All right, December. What are we at? December. Okay, so that's December fifth, December seventh. One hundred and five. One hundred and five deaths. I'm going with deaths, uh, like I said last week, because there's a high probability that I'll get COVID because of people out licking doorknobs. So let's uh, look at uh, let's look at, at deaths in Thailand. Well, shit, you had one on November sixth. It's December seventh. They haven't had shit, dude. What is Adam? How's it going, buddy? Good, man. How are you? Holy crap. Dude, okay, so this is one of the reasons I reached out to you is because I mean we we um, uh, I haven't physically seen you in a couple of years, and I know that you've been in in Thailand. Yeah. Uh, and the other thing is that like I woke up on Sunday morning, and one of the things that I miss I miss an invisibly packed dance floor at one thirty in the morning when you're on stage, and it's just like sweaty and just nasty. Oh, it's it's awesome. It's the best, right? I get up, I roll over, and I'm checking my socials, and I see that you go live, and you're in some badass-looking beach bar in <laughs> Thailand, and I'm just like, this son of a... How many deaths have... And you guys haven't had a death. You haven't had shit in t- how long? Yeah, it's been it's been a while. Like, no, I don't think we've had, like, a... Thailand hasn't had, like, a home-born case in, like, months, I think. It's all coming in from, from uh, outsiders. Yeah. So yeah. Pretty, wow, pretty. that is insane, dude. So okay, uh, so you're in Thailand now. So tell me a bit about like uh, number one. Uh, how long have you been there? Uh, I've been in Southeast Asia for almost two years. Wait, what? Wait, what's the date? Uh, two years now. Holy shit! Wow. Can we cuss? Can we cuss? Or we have yeah, to yeah, yeah. PG thirteen. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's actually I left. Uh, I left. Florida, uh, December 8th, uh, what is it? 20, 2018. So yeah, I've been in Southeast Asia for two years, been living in, uh, Phuket for, um, over a year. That's how you say it. See, I was like, (laughs) what is, he lives in, in Phuket, fuck it. I don't, I don't know. How do you say it? Whatever you want. (laughs) That was going to be, do you guys embrace that by the way? Do you guys embrace the fact that it sounds like fuck it or no? I let all my friends embrace it. They love okay. it. So okay. Just run with it. It's cool. Awesome. Awesome. So, so, okay. So what brought you over there? Uh, just a change, man. Um, doing the, doing the grind, the DJ grind in Orlando and, mm-hmm. uh, very blessed to like have amazing gigs and, uh, working with some awesome people and just wanted to change it up. Just like, I don't know, go out and see what else is out there. And I was fortunate enough to be working like a remote uh, gig for a tech startup, a remote like day job. So uh, Mm -hmm. I could, I had the luxury of traveling and working at the same time. So that that kind of put everything together for me. That is so fantastic, dude. And and that is, that's the dream that, I mean, that's, that's the, that's the dream is being able to travel and, and, uh, and, and just, you know, 
you you're doing what I uh what I wanted to do in 09 on a bigger level. You know, like I was working in tech, I was in IT. I left I, I left the IT industry in 2009, July of 2009. Uh and then did full-time entertainment since then. Um <clears throat> but it was like, you know, the the 9 to 5, you know, and then it like, you know, go home, wash your face and head to the club, head to the bar, head to whatever gig you have and do it all over again. That was uh that was fantastic. But now you're able to do that like abroad, which is amazing. Yes. Uh, yeah. That's the best. Um and do you get um do you, do you have a resin you well actually you have a you have a a a, a mix that you just came out with or are you coming out with, right? Yeah, I I put the finishing touches on it. It's from Asara, I think, uh where you where you saw the live feed and uh, yeah, it's like a a new disco boogie type of like feel good kind of like funky background type of mix. So nothing like clubby, but yeah. Um, yeah so doing that so yeah I'm lucky to have i mean it's dead here like the covid cases are like pretty much like negligible but um you know tour tourism for thailand it's i don't know like whatever almost 30 percent of its gdp i mean it's huge and so yeah. i mean businesses are i mean full towns in phuket are are ghost towns and they used to be like hustling bustling hubs of like tourism and so to even have a residency right now is like a huge blessing and oh yeah um it's kind of like co- even there are obviously it's all locals and uh people mm-hmm. are out spending money which is nice but it's not like orlando where orlando is like very local um mm-hmm. very localized very localized economy um yeah. so you know when downtown opens up you have like the downtown crew that will yep. come back to all the their usual bars and like so mm-hmm. then they have that money to count on we're here it's not like that so businesses are like they're failing like left and right um and mm-hmm. people are doing whatever businesses are doing whatever they can to get people in so um yeah. a lot of deals obviously and i'm just fortunate enough to have met like a really cool chef restaurant owner and uh he he wants to do something different and he makes a new menu almost every week and wants me to like curate the music and like so we work really well together i love that that sounds like a great like little atmosphere 